Nintendo's RPG spin-offs do parody right. They also seem to be getting increasingly more absurd with time. Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story is the latest, and as its name implies, you'll spend a good deal of it exploring the corpus of the Koopa King. Is there brilliance in this premise, or has the series finally gone off the deep end? <laughs> a mysterious affliction called the Blorbs is turning the Mushroom Kingdom's peewee inhabitants boulder-sized. To head off the crisis, the Kingdom's Council calls a summit and invites Mario and Luigi. As luck would have it, Bowser decides to stomp through Toad Town right around the same time. Fast forward a bit, and Bowser's beat by Mario and tricked into eating a sketchy mushroom by a mysterious stranger, who happens to be none other than Fawful in disguise. When he rolls up on the kingdom for the second time, the mushroom's effects kick in. The bewitched Bowser hoovers up every member of the council, including Mario and Luigi. Thus begins Bowser's inside story. It only gets more preposterous from there. The story is often funny and always charming, though you'll frequently wonder whether you're laughing with it or at it. <laughs> Though you spend about half the time playing as Mario and Luigi as they spelunk Bowser's guts, the Mushroom Kingdom's villainous bonehead is the true star of the show. He's a real deal character this time around, complete with attributes, equipment slots, and special abilities. He's also got the best lines in the game. Nintendo. The game takes place across two very distinct environments, Bowser's insides and the Mushroom Kingdom at large. Along with some of the kingdom's notable personages, Mario and Luigi work behind the scenes inside of Bowser to aid him as he tries to foil Falfel's plot. Meanwhile, the King of the Koopas tromps around the outside world to reclaim what's rightfully his, namely the kingdom and everything in it. The brothers do frequently venture outside of Bowser's innards, but for the most part, the game is at its best when it's focused on the interplay between the two distinct worlds. The game is pretty linear, though still full of surprises. This being a Mario RPG, you'd expect no small measure of gameplay elements that evoke the mechanics that have defined Mario games throughout the years. Bowser's Inside Story takes this notion and runs with it, with a host of clever mini-games. Depending on what sort of biological reaction you need to trigger in Bowser, you'll smack jolts into his muscles, irritate his nasal passages with allergens, or help him digest massive amounts of food. All of these distinct little games are delightfully executed and tie into the bigger picture, that is, giving Bowser an extra bit of oomph to perform some superhuman task in ever more amusing ways. Bowser's Inside Story also succeeds as an RPG on the strength of its deceptively deep systems. As you progress, Bowser and the bros will see their stats increase along with their equipable item slots, and they'll gain a host of cool special attacks that are as fun to actually execute as they are effective in fights. Apart from a few sequences that feel needlessly obtuse, you'll find yourself coasting through the 20-ish hours it'll take you to play through this marvelously realized RPG. It may feel like it's leading you by the nose, but it's a trip you won't soon forget. Combat in Bowser's Inside Story is a blast, the total antithesis of the console RPG stereotype. Regardless of whether you're controlling Bowser or the Mario Brothers, even your basic actions in combat require you to be attentive and precise. Doing well in fights comes down to getting your timing right, be it defending from an incoming attack or scoring flourishes that boost your moves. Special attacks lay on the variety even thicker. Depending on who you're controlling, expect to lay your DS flat and mash buttons, hit them in an ever-quickening rhythm, or search and peck Goombas with your stylus. It doesn't matter how often you fight a given enemy, you'll never feel like you can doze off during combat. When you're trolling Bowser's insides as Mario and Luigi, you'll do quite a bit of platforming as you puzzle your way through his nooks and crannies. Here again, the game is at its best when it highlights the interplay between Bowser's actions in the outside world and what's going on inside of him. In one section, you'll help the brothers find a way through part of his viscera by standing Bowser in front of an X-ray machine to reveal invisible platforms. The platforming bits can occasionally be annoying, particularly when they harp on the puzzle elements. When you're not lost, though, you'll have a blast with all the cool little details that have been built into seemingly every interaction. Oh, yeah. Bowser's Inside Story benefits from a top-notch look, with colorful, expressive 2D art that really sells the game's offbeat, irreverent take on Mario's world. 
All the peculiar creatures you encounter in Bowser's innards look appropriately alien, yet still at home in the Super Mario style guide. The music strikes the right chords as well, cheery where appropriate, and spooky or ominous when it needs to be. The sounds will ring familiar, and the voices, while sparse, amusingly punctuate key moments. However, you may get a little tired of Mario and Luigi's gibberish. Oh yeah! Okay. With all its wonderful little details, Bowser's inside story goes above and beyond our already high expectations of the series. The brilliant timing it exhibits in more ways than one will never cease to delight. This is the Mario RPG formula at its best.